Off to a chilly start here this morning. Temperatures a little cooler than we were this time yesterday. Yesterday was our warmest morning, 40s and 50s. Today, you step outside and you kind of feel it a little bit. We've got lower 40s in northwest Arkansas. Even some upper 30s mixing in on the eastern half of five country this morning. You start to work west along I-40 towards Fort Smith, Van Buren, up towards, uh, let's go, Alma, and then down to Poto, Waldron, Boonville. You start to get a little bit more back into those 40s a little bit. It, so not as cool. So jacket this morning still needed. Not a big heavy coat. Really haven't needed it much this week. We're looking at another afternoon working our way up into those upper 40s in our coolest spots to a lot of 50s mixing in with cloudy skies. We've got areas of fog out there this morning, but it's not widespread like the last few mornings. But we'll look for some of that light fog to slowly linger through the morning hours. And then we're going to end the day with an isolated shower chance. 10, 20 percent chance. Five, six, seven. 7 o'clock, especially eastern Oklahoma, could see a few isolated showers, but that rain chance just goes up through the overnight and through sunrise on Saturday. Rain chances pick up, chilly night, 30s and lower 40s. There's that next disturbance, the one that's going to bring us those rain chances and bring us a soggy, cold, uh, kind of raw Saturday because we're going to have a north breeze coming in on the backside of the system, making it feel colder. So uh, coldest day we've had since we had the ice come in earlier in the week. There's our next disturbance coming this way, and we'll watch the rain pick up here as we take a look at future track radar. Again, a lot of cloud cover around. Same story every day. Here we go, 5, 6, 7 o'clock. So we're wrapping up our Friday. Friday's dry. So we head into Friday evening, Friday night. That's when, all right, we got to start thinking about having that umbrella handy. If you've got plans Friday evening, this is where we're going to have that 10, 20% chance of a few spotty passing showers. That continues to increase as we go overnight. Rain comes in. You see some darker red, southern Arkansas. We're going to be a long ways from a severe weather threat, though we could get a rumble of thunder overnight. Again, waking up, soggy start to the day, chilly. 30s and low 40s will be the highs for northwest Arkansas. Going to try to squeeze out a few more 40s in the River Valley, but that north wind is going to make it feel cooler. Okay, so here we go. As we go through the afternoon, we're going to get this low to pass right over us. You can see the counterclockwise swirl here. These upper level lows, it's what we call them, uh, they have these columns of cold air, these cold pockets. Uh, and right as it passes over you, you can get some snowflakes to mix in. You saw some blue mix in there. I think the mountains have the better chance, but we could have a mix of some snowflakes and some rain drops as we get in the afternoon. We'll keep our eyes on it right now. Not expecting uh, really any issues from that. Temperatures will be above freezing, but again, don't be shocked if you see some snowflakes, especially in the higher elevations mix in tomorrow. Again, going to be a cold washout of a day. And then as we get into the weekend, they're back half of the weekend, Sunday, some sunshine will start to mix in. And then we get a lot of sunshine as we get into next week. And not only that, but we get even warmer weather, 50s and 60s mixed around. Next chance of rain beyond that would be sometime next Saturday is what we're kind of eyeing right now. All right.